Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Jam and today I'll be showing you how to change your DNS servers in Windows 10. Now what actually is DNS? And a quick overview is it's a translation service in the background for your computer, for your internet browser to change from the memorable domain name for us, such as google.com, to the IP address that it actually needs to connect to the correct server. So if I type in google.com, it takes me to this website. Now, DNS in the background via DNS record lookups and uh, the records that are held for the domain names is actually providing this IP address 216.58.211.99 you don't need to remember that but that IP address is the same as going to domain name google.com and that's essentially what's happening in the background it is providing your internet browser with the IP address in the background for the domain name that you type in now there are several DNS servers, public DNS servers available, quite quite a few, but the top three generally, or three well-known ones, are OpenDNS, Google uh, has public DNS servers, as well as Cloudflare. In this demonstration, I'll be using Cloudflare servers 1.1.1.1, and those will be the ones that are used in this demonstration and the ones I personally use. However, there's also an excellent article from LifeWire, which includes the three that I've mentioned, as well as others, as well as a breakdown of what DNS servers are. Again, as I've, as I've demonstrated, but it has a, a written uh, description of what DNS servers are, but also, it has uh, reasons for why you'll want to change, such as for speed, reliability, or for privacy concerns. So, how do you actually change your DNS servers in Windows 10? You'll want to left-click on the Start button and left-click on the Settings icon. You'll then want to left-click Network and Internet once you're in the Windows Settings panel. And this will bring up the status window for your internet connection that you're currently used uh, to connect to the internet. Now, I only connect via Ethernet, but you may have Wi-Fi and Ethernet listed on the left-hand side here. You will want to change for any connection that you use on a regular basis. So Ethernet and Wi-Fi, whichever connection that you use. So for example, if I go into Ethernet, left click, I, I know I'm connected and I only ever connect via a Ethernet cable in the back of my PC and that is connected at the moment. So it must be network three and it says connected underneath. Now I left click on here and I scroll down to IP settings and I click edit left click. Now it at the moment it says automatic and you'll want to change to manual and you'll want to left click and activate IPv4. You'll want to leave blank IP address, subnet and gateway. And you'll then want to type in the IP address of your choice for your DNS servers. Now, as I said, I'm using the uh, servers provided by Cloudflare. So I will be typing in 1.1.1.1. And then the alternative is 1.0.0.1. You'll then want to click save. And it will take a moment to, to do this. And then you'll want to restart for these settings to take effect. You'll then be using your new DNS servers. Another option to change your DNS servers, which will be more familiar to those using Windows 7 or have used Windows 7 in the past, is you'll want to search for the control panel and open that, which has just come up now. And then You'll want to click into network and internet, left click, and network and sharing center, left click. On the left hand side in the left hand panel, you'll want to left click on change adapter settings. And this shows all of the internet connection adapters that you have in your uh, PC or laptop. And there's only one that I'm using, which again is the uh, uh, ethernet port, the network three. So I'll right click and click properties. This will bring up a new window. And you'll want to click internet protocol version four and then click properties. 
And this will bring up essentially the same window that we had before in the Windows 10 panel, which is which lists IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. You'll want to leave those as being obtained automatically. But you'll want to change from obtain DNS server's address automatically to use the following DNS server addresses. And then again, you type in the address so 1.1.1.1, 1.0.0.1, .1 .1 .1, oh, almost got that wrong. Just check that they're okay, click OK, click Close, and you've now changed your DNS server settings. That was a, another method that you can change them in Windows 10. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a new video soon.